Hi, I'm Kevin Tates. Most vehicles manufactured since the 1990s have a cabin air filter that you can change yourself. Sometimes it's as simple as a screwdriver or simple hand tools and it'll only take you about 15 minutes. Now your owner's manual will tell you the location of the cabin air filter and filter change intervals. And if you don't have an owner's manual, well your neighborhood AutoZone can help you look that information up. A cabin air filter is made of thin sheets of blended fiber that trap dirt and pollen as the air circulates inside your vehicle. Like the air filters in your home, the cabin air filter cleans the air that you breathe inside the car. Now you might notice that your heater or your air conditioner aren't as efficient as they used to be or that there's a funky odor in your car. Well, changing the cabin air filter can help you clear that up. Now most vehicle manufacturers are going to recommend that you change your cabin air filter every 12 months or 12,000 miles. So when you change the air filter under the hood, change your cabin air filter. Now if you live in a high dust or a high pollen environment, you might want to tighten up or shorten that filter change interval. Now keep in mind also that AutoZone has cabin air filters for almost every year, make and model of vehicle. So let me show you how easy this job is. Now the cabin air filter is going to be in one of three places, either under the hood where the air enters the vehicle, or under the dash, like this vehicle, or behind the glove box. Wow. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Good gosh. This is what happens when you never change your cabin air filter. We're breathing that. When you remove your filters, pay attention to the direction of the airflow so you can properly replace them. In this vehicle, the airflow is going this direction and loading the filter up on that side. Now these are new clean air filters and you can see clearly the flow indicator for reinstallation. Now if you change on regular intervals, your filters won't ever get as nasty as the ones we pulled out. Installing the new filter is just as easy. There's the first filter. Just reverse the steps, making sure you have the flow arrows pointing in the same direction. And we're home free. Three screws on the cover and we're done. All right, let's give this a test. That's better. And it was that easy. And I hope this helps you knock out this bit of routine maintenance. Remember to go to your neighborhood AutoZone or to AutoZone.com to get the parts you need to do the job right. I'm Kevin Tates. See you in the zone.